gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. So you mentioned Full Metal, Alchemist Brotherhood, and Tower of God. What else you been checking out, Ron? Um, fairy tale 100 years quest. We fairy tale fans are eating. The story has intensified. I'm not going to give y'all too many spoilers and because it is still really new, but we're getting more depth, a lot more ties into the history of dragons with Natsu's family and Iganil right now. Really good stuff. The action is good. The animation is good. If you never like fairy tales, friendship, um, power friendship, um, traditions and storylines, you're not going to like it. But for the mm-hmm. folks who like it, you're going to love it. It's good right now. Now, I've really been enjoying how they've been animating uh, 100 Years Quest. And I the part that we're getting to now is, um, like I said before, I've been reading a little bit of the manga. But this is when the story really started to pick up for me, like right oh, after yeah. this point. So we're about to get we're about to get some good shit in these next couple of episodes. Um, spinning the block to Tower of God, I that is a I feel like that is the sleeper hit of the summer twenty twenty four anime season. Cause I was not I watched Tower of God because I forgot what episode I mentioned it on that I wanted to check it out and I checked it out that day and I watched like maybe close. To the whole season that night. I was not expecting Tower of God to be that good. And season two, they've bumped up the animation. So if you were a little bit hesitant to get in the Tower of God because of how they animated the first season, that animation in the second season is way better. And we're getting a bit more context on a couple things. What happened on uh, that last episode going into what they're dealing with now. But... I'm with it. We still I'm hate still... Rachel. Yeah, this is this is a hate Rachel fan F club. Rachel. F Rachel. Big Ryan don't like the cuss, but me, fuck Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> like me and my homies hate Rachel. We do not like her, bro. We do For... not. We do not like Rachel. And if you've watched Tower Guys season one, you know, you know. If you know, you know. But I highly recommend, if you weren't watching anything for the summer 2024 anime season, please start Tower of God. Please start it. Because that season one, like like Foop said, you can bust it out in a couple of days. Like, over the weekend, just mm-hmm. bust it out. If you need two weekends, go ahead. It is that good. Don't let the art style... Well, yeah, don't, I think don't, it's animation. Don't let that throw yeah. you off. Don't let the animation um, hold you back. It's a really good story. Um, the first season is 13 episodes. All of it is in dub. So if you're the type that when binging, you like to watch it in dub, all of the episodes are in dub. So. And the dub was pretty good. The dub's yeah, not bad. The, like I watched dubs it Dubs have gotten dub. a lot better. A lot I would, better. I would agree. This was, this was a good dub. So I, I watched the whole thing in dub. Um, of course, with the new season being out, most of the episodes are in sub. I think they've been doubling back with the dub like a couple mm-hmm. of days after sub comes out but that is our that is our top recommendation for the summer 2024 anime season and and i do want to get into it just a little bit i did go back and watch full metal alchemist brotherhood a lot of people have recommended it to me my boy sage um from from beyond beats and pot and all that Ace from Gurn Otaku Council and just my homeboy Tom. Shout out to him. They put me on a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And let me tell y'all, I see why it's the top anime on my anime list. I get it. I don't know what I was watching when I was younger. I don't know if I just couldn't get past them first 10 episodes because they are a little slow. But Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a top tier shonen, bro. And I'm only on episode like 33 right now. It's, it anime- might be one of them animes that you have to spend. You ever watch something and, and then you have to spin the block too? And it's like, hmm. I think that's exactly what happened for me, bro. I did that for Demon Slayer and JJK, but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is an old school anime. That's like right. the Hunter Hunter generation of anime. But like the animation still holds up. The plot is amazing. The setting is like this European post-industrial age. I don't know time time zone. The concept of alchemy and that power system is very interesting and very balanced. The MC is interesting. The villains slash villain organization i don't know what to call it It really caught my interest they base it around like the seven daily sins in terms of lust greed and envy and pride with some of the villains in there really good stuff bro i am enjoying it i don't know if it's my favorite i haven't finished it yet Mm -hmm. but so far i'm like halfway through i think it's like 60 something episodes total i love full metal alchemist brotherhood right now 
first time really watching it to this degree and feeling like this. Man, I I've been thinking about starting Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, so I might check it out. I've been um, on the side because I like we said before, My Hero still continuing. Um, Fairy Tale, we're on the same page. Tower of God, we're on the same page. I've been keeping up with the Suicide Squad Isekai, and we talked about the first episode last episode but now i'm fully caught up to where we are now and it's it's pretty good nice i need to catch back up it's pretty good i like how they've been able to balance like the dc character elements with the fantasy world that they're in they're still keeping the essence of the suicide squad so you're gonna have like those questionable decisions villains being villains and of course the gore and the violence and everything that comes with the suicide squad and then it's just hilarious watching the people of the fantasy world uh, react to the things that Harley and Deadshot do. Because, like, we're already accustomed, but now we're watching a whole different group of people having to coexist with them and react to their decisions and how they form and bond as a team and things like that. It's been It's been pretty good. Surprisingly... My dad has been watching it, and he's not even <laughs> he's not even a big anime fan, but he's been watching the Suicide Squad Isekai, and he's been enjoying it. Shout out to Pop! Shout out to Pops! I, it's it's been some good content. When when is Suicide Squad Isekai ending? Because I I still have time to catch up, right? Um, I don't know how many episodes it's supposed to be. Because like no. I don't know if it's following like some regular anime. Like is it like two cores, so like twelve episodes each, or is it hitting that twenty four episode one season mark? If I could type, if I could type, I could get you an answer. But it's not filibuster. Filibuster. Make sure y'all check them links in the description. That's we have a so posty link to donate. You know we need more income to help us get more screens, better keyboard to track. Dang, um, so the, tra- it's it's done. And really? and I was just about to say I wanted to see I wanted to see the episode count, but I was about to say the way that they ended this last episode felt like a season finale. How many episodes is out so far? Ten. Okay, I think I watched three, so I need to I need to hurry up and finish that for a mob review. But the way that they um they had the way that they set up that last episode and the way that it ended gave um season finale but i was like i don't know they might continue it they might try to do like a 24 episode season type thing but no suicide squad isekai is done so with that being said i recommend it for those who are fans of the suicide squad for those who are fans of anime this is like this is good shit this is a good mix of dc and anime it's a really fun watch I like it both in sub and dub because at one point I did have to watch a couple episodes in dub, but it's legit. Nice, I didn't know. Nice. I didn't know it was over with yet. So yeah, um, once Ryan gets caught over, we'll definitely be putting out a mob review for that. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna I've, catch up. I could catch up this week, honestly. I've been watching. I've also I've been taking my time with it. I've been watching some of the episodes of Batman the Cape Crusader, which is the Batman uh, animated series that just dropped on Amazon Prime. It's cool. I haven't really found anything that sticks out to me. As far as, like, new animation, because I could go on a spiel on how much I love my adventures with Superman. And Superman's not even my favorite character in the DC Universe, but the way that they've set up my adventures with superman i just love the way like the art style the um the character design the character development like who they're including the storylines that we're following this batman one is just not i see where the changes are but it's just not sticking out to me um if any of you guys who are listening or watching have been checking out the batman cape crusader let me know how you feel about it I'm a bit neutral on the situation. Like, it's not sticking out to me. Like, all 10 episodes of Cape Crusader are out, but it just hasn't given me that push of, oh, I need to sit down and binge watch all 10 episodes in one season. Like, I've been moving very slowly with this. I don't know if it's just that these first couple episodes aren't really, like, getting to the nitty-gritty yet or if this Batman series is not sticking out to me. Fair enough. 
So we'll see. <laughs> she said, "Not a hard recommendation." Y'all, let me know if y'all like it. Well, let me know if, if y'all like it. If I if I finish it, I'll definitely put out a mob review on how I felt about it. But I would say, as far as Batman solo series go, animated series, I. I don't know if this is the strongest one that's come out. Fair enough. So, you got any more recommendations, Ryan? Anything you want to tell? Oh, uh, not, uh, not at the moment. Everything. Oh, reincarnated as a slime is pretty good. I can't really say if this season was that much more special. Remaru is building up his kingdom. Um, the fight with Hinata that was at what of multiple episodes ago, it was really good. But I think they're doing a full like twenty four episode season again this time around. So far, I like it. If you like Reincarnated as a Slime, if you didn't really appreciate season one and two, I doubt you would appreciate season three. But if you with it and you just been slowing down, I think it's gonna come into a close soon. I've been enjoying that. But it's nothing. It's not too much I can say about Reincarnated Slime. It's a nice turn your brain off and just enjoy it type of isekai. Yeah. Last thing, let's let's talk about let's give a a little bit of update on my hero academia. Um mm, oh yeah. It went on a break for a couple of weeks. It came back towards like the middle of June. We've been missing a couple Saturdays due to the Olympics, but Deku has finally entered the we're finally, we're finally, finally out of many episodes of what I just feel like is you guys milking this. We're finally getting to the Deku versus Shigaraki fight that they have been building up since after they had that first big fight in yeah. season seven. Yeah. So we finally, we're finally getting to that point. I don't know. Um, as of this recording, I don't know if a new episode dropped today, but if it has, um, great. Let's see what they do, but. The only thing I have to say about these this next string of episodes from My Hero is why the fuck did oh boy stick his booty cheeks up in Shigaraki's face? I'm not gonna lie, that scene pissed me off because <laughs> it, it, it 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 reignited a trauma response that I felt. When we saw sexy jutsu against Kagui, and I was like, "No, this, 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 no, no! Put your booty, put your cheeks down. Not Stop peachy, doing your booty up. Not Peachy King. Not we're down. Your voice went out, food. It might be because it, it might be because of the same issue with your mic earlier. But but to the fans, bro, y'all let me know. I don't like, I, I was like, y'all talk about fan service from animes like Fire Force and stuff. I'm sorry. I don't want to see Vermilion's booty tooted up to stop a threat like Shigaraki. I don't like it. I don't respect it. I don't appreciate it. It did not make me laugh. It made me angry. <laughs> and I still can't hear you, Fu, but I see you laughing. It pissed me off. I hear you now. Oh, no, I heard a breath. I don't hear you no more. It's now not... I hear something from you. Now I hear you. It's not picking up my mic. What's... I hear you now. I don't know what happened earlier. You can hear me now? Yeah. It just went out again. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. Now I can hear you. Where's my mic coming from? You can mute while recording, but you can't switch mics. You're not even telling me what mic I'm using. All right, yeah. but you, but you can hear me though? I can hear you. All right. Well, let me know if I go out again. But I definitely, I definitely agree with you. That wasn't needed. I know it's in the manga because I saw the manga panel side by side with this. This wasn't needed. Like we're down to the wire. You're trying to figure out how to distract Shigaraki. You need something for two seconds. I just feel like being double cheeked up on a Tuesday <laughs> afternoon in that um in that damn arena. What are, what are they calling it? Uh, something above uh, the heavens. Uh, yes, sky above the heavens. Sky, sky above the heavens or whatever. I just feel like being double cheeked up against the major op. I mean, it worked. Very weird it worked, that it worked. But that blew me. That blew me. It, like coming off, like coming off the episode and uh, spoilers, cover your ears. I won't say it. But coming off the episode before then, if you remember the episode that happened before, 
And then we're turning around. And then at the end of this episode, I was like, you guys aren't serious. You guys aren't serious. But, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I get it. Like, please, y'all don't butcher us and be like, y'all ain't real anime fans or something like that. But I'm sorry. In very serious moments, y'all have to pick and choose when comedy is appropriate. And that just felt very, very flat. That to just me. felt, that felt. Now, now I will say his reaction was appropriate because it's not like the dude was like, oh my gosh, booty cheeks, booty cheeks, <laughs> booty cheeks. He, he did stop and just go like, huh? And that was it. Because I watched a new episode that came out today, and I'm not going to spoil it. But I was like, okay, at least that reaction was normal. But y'all could have... Oh, so there is a new episode out? Yeah, I watched it before this recording. Okay. Is Part that... of the reason why I was a little late. Because I had to, like, get dressed and put on my Oh, now, thing. first it was crackers. Before we got into I did the... get before, crackers. Before, I did. Before we got into this recording, Ryan was like, you know, I was running a little bit late because I wanted to eat some crackers. Now he wanted to watch hey. anime, get dressed, eat crackers... Crazy word. It was everything. Cause I, I, I was like, I'm a little hungry. The episode was good. I need to put my beard cream in so it can be a little shiny. I just got a haircut. I'm looking good. You know what I'm saying? Type type shit. You know. You make me sick. Um, <laughs> you make me sick. Either way, either way, I just feel like that could have been someone. Like we cut shit from the manga all the time. We could have cut that part. We could have. We could have. I was like, y'all not serious. Y'all not serious at oh, what's stopping the person and coming behind the AI and doing the same thing the lady just did. We just, we just now, we just have an extra step in place. The AI did it first, and now somebody can come behind the AI and be like, well, I don't like the way you translated that. Well, I don't like the way the AI wrote that sentence. And now-